clock. Um, we're starting with an application for a conditional use permit for a driveway on Illinois. Way. The um, property owner is Brookshire LLC. The owner is here. And I'm going to appoint Pastor Bill as a voting member since we're missing a couple of members. Who? Me. Pastor, Pastor Bill. Bill. Oh, I could have sworn you said Baskerville. I went. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> me. Sorry. That's the kitchen. Pastor it's the mask. Bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy. Yeah. Um, this application is for driveway off Ellen away, 200 feet long, 15% grade for about 110 feet. Let's take a peek at the application here. Doesn't look like they're asking for any waivers on the application. So we want to we make a motion to accept the application as complete. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, moved by Pastor Bill, seconded by Chuck Bolton. So, the applicant want to describe the application to us? Sure. You have to state your name. Robert Baskerel. I'm the president and the manager of Brookshire LLC. I did this subdivision about 15 years ago, maybe a couple more. 29 lots, 28 are sold and built on. Roads have been done for a long time, and this is the last lot. And when the subdivision originally got approved, the land north of this was going to get subdivided too. So the road was supposed to go straight up the center. This was a temporary cul-de-sac in case it never got built. A couple of years later, or five years later, whatever, that subdivision got approved with no connection. So we went back and changed the right-of-way from this blue line to this. So originally, a driver would have connected down here to the pavement down here. Then when we did the test pits for this whole subdivision, Almost no legend in any of it except way up in this corner, this top couple of lines. But we had good test pits. You know, you got six feet deep here with no ledge and a few other spots. So you knew there were some, but we thought we could avoid it. A few notes, this is not intended at all to be the final house location. We had somebody go in and do some test pits a little while back. Likewise, this may move a little bit one way or the other. But they hit some ledge up here. When you look at this cut slope here, a little bit of ledge showing up here, but they didn't appear to hit any here. You go into a little valley in the center of the lot, a little high spot here, a little high spot here. But right down here, we went six feet deep and didn't hit any. Well, sure enough, when you first go in, this first cut, the guy who drove into the back hole goes, I think it's all ledge. It was just a, a rib of it right through here. And of course, this house got built fairly close to that property line. So if you come in, we could go down a little further. You come in here, you'd end up doing a six, eight foot blast or hack, or what do they call them? Um, Bring it here. Cut. Chip. The cut. Or they chip it away. Yep. Hammer it away. Hammer it, yep. Through here. A little bit about the lot. At the road, it's 350. This is the 360 contour, so it goes up 10 feet in that first 25 feet. Here's the 370 that goes out to here, and it's just 371 all the way back here. So it goes up steep in that first section. By the time it gets to here, it's flat all the way out. a plan that from the edge of the pavement bring about a six foot cut going in up through there well I got it right here 
So from the edge of the payment, we go down at 2% to the red rail. Make mm -hmm. sure that we're going down past the ditch. Then we go up at the 15%. I got five feet here, 5.3 feet at the high point. If there's ledge there, you know, it's New Hampshire. Where's the ledge? Not even sure. Not even positive it is ledge because you go out to this part of the lot, you got one of those surface boulders you get in this part of the state. Yep. And, you know, I couldn't, my arms couldn't get anywhere near to go around it. Volkswagen size ones, yeah. yeah. Or bigger. Yeah. And even if you hit that with a, a back on, you wouldn't know it's like a rock. So from where we start the 15% to end it, we I measured 97 feet. It might be less when you go to build it. Then you do a curve to flatten it right down. As far as house location, I've had a few people walk in. Some people think you should come in here and swing right up and put a house up here in the high spot with a drive under garage. You get up kind of high. These houses over here are probably 30 feet lower. Look out over the top of them. Other people think you should go way out back. It's flat, kind of sandy. Some place back here, about another 120 feet or so, is um, Hughesboro. It's really clearly defined when it goes through the subdivision. Up here, it has to start spreading out and turns into a marsh up here. Mm -hmm. So you got a couple of high spots, 375 here, 378 here, 370 in the middle. So I was just looking to reduce this here. To reduce to, you're going to have to probably blast or hammer no matter what you do. But it's such a short stretch, going from 10 to 15, just reduces the amount of hammering. Reduces the impact on this a little. I thought it was just a common sense thing to do. Let me ask you this. Yep. I mean, if we approve this conditional use permit, then yep. the driveway's got to go there. It's not close to it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Show, to you're not it, gonna yes. move the house up by the street and call it the same. I mean, nobody's ever gonna do it here. Okay. So now, when they uncover all this, if they find out the ledges three feet higher on one side than the other, can they shift it five feet? Yeah, they'll be close. Yeah. But, so on the house, yep. I mean, you've got this driveway coming right up to sill elevation, no garage on there. Correct. Just for example. Any chance that you could figure a garage under so you can back off and it's 15% for some of the length of it? You keep the bottom where it is and maybe. Is, I'm selling the lot, I'm not building the house. So I, I'm not putting any conditions on how the house gets built, whether they build it up front or up back. But if you try to do a garage under here, I'd still keep the garage at the same elevation. I'd just put the house on there. Because I think I don't want to hit ledge back there. I don't think you can go deep enough for an eight foot basement back there without hitting ledge. Maybe way back. And I know there's a fire department condition that says if you go far enough back, you need to have the turnaround. That's fine for a condition. But I didn't want to go get fire department approval. I'm just looking at the practicality of that first 100 feet. And I'm fine if you just do this just for the first 100 feet, because it won't last very long. Oh, unfortunately, we're not just giving a conditional use permit for a 15% grade for the first 100 feet because the fire department's got some requirements they're looking for. Right there. I've got a letter dated June 8th. It says the board recommends the following. Construct a driveway to meet the driveway standards for one and two family dwellings, which, except for the grade, you, you can do. Right. Due to the slope, provide adequate turnaround, which I, this turnaround, I don't think they'll find as adequate. Once we flatten out back there, there's plenty of room to do that. Yeah, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to show it on the plan, so, cause we gotta get the fire chief to say, okay. Right. Um, and the driveway is subject to acceptance by the fire chief. Now, I'm assuming he means the plan because we're going to give a conditional use permit based on a plan, not the driveway 
once it's built. Um, I'm okay with turning in a plan, but where a buyer buys this, they could turn in rid of a house they want, any shape house they want. They could move it. Well, you know what I mean. This, a minor degree, yes. If they if they get, or they come back, they're gonna have to come back if they really want to make a major wholesale okay. change. I mean. Really, you should tell them, look, this is what's approved. If you want to build something different, you're going to have to talk to the town about it. That's on you. I was hoping I could get a conditional use waiver just for the slope, conditioned on future fire ward approval, future driveway permit approval. Yeah, we really can't. We need to get the fire ward approval to do the. They need to be on board with the thing. Okay. Um, and just for the slope, isn't they won't, they won't be on board with that because of their turnaround requirement request and... I can show a turnaround down here. That's easy enough. Um, and then just the buyer, if they move the house, they got to come back. So as we're coming up that driveway, we've got slopes on each side. Is that what that's showing? Or is yes. it sloping this way? This way. This is this way. Show yeah. Yeah. So on the front side, it's no more than three So you got two feet, a two foot gra gravel uh, after the hot top. Yes. On each side. Yep. Which is if I was going to plow that, I wouldn't have a place to put a snow with the snow. Yeah, the the the, rigs, the specs say 16 feet overall. He's got 18, so he's actually two feet wider than what we yeah. require. And I've got. But it'd be nice if you had one spot going up the hill to push the snow to, because you're not going to push it up the hill. That's we could show that. Just go right in and right here, show a little flat spot with. That'd that. be good. <laughs> I should take some notes probably, shouldn't I? Because there's a place up by where I live, my son gave up plowing it because there's no place to put the snow up the hill. <laughs> I don't need it that bad. Then uh, there's a, a typo on note number five. Okay. Yeah, it says River Road. It says River Road, not Illinois. Illinois Way. Oh. It must have been your draftsman. Probably a sur it. probably a survey. <laughs> <laughs> it was a clip note, an uncorrected clipped note. There any questions, John? No. <clears throat> I, I, I mean, I guess the only question is, is, is will the firewalls actually approve the, uh, uh, that driveway they, as designed? The gun will be for the grant conditionally use permit. They would have to. Be. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. I mean, that's one thing with our driveway regulations that the fire department has to. I'm not going to go stepping on their toes. No, I understand that, but what I'm, I guess what I'm asking is, so if this is approved somewhere near what was shown here, will, will, is, is there a possibility the firewalls will, won't, won't uh, buy into that? You said they had to? Well, they're going to have to because first well, they get three. Continue. Three, or three we, recommendations. Gonna, I mean, I could drive back, but if you did a contention on approval, if they don't approve it, well, then it's not a valid approval. If that's the only one holding it on. It's up to you guys. I'd really like to see a little quick clear would love to see me letter from them. And I I don't think they've kind of left it up to the fire chief in this letter. So I don't I think you can kind of meet with the fire chief and go through it because he knows what an acceptable turnaround is. Right. And then the driveway is subject to acceptance by the fire chief. So, but I'm assuming that means when it's built. Well, uh, I assume that's kind of putting the cat before the horse if you require that. <laughs> you understand that situation? But I time, think if the plan is, I think we need them to say okay on the plan with with the turn. And his levels, evidently they're okay with the grade because they didn't say anything about changing the grade. Right. And then so the I think the turnaround say, is going to be. Yeah. Okay, that. I think the turnaround is, is what he's looking for. And I think if you can work that out with him. And some of the lots further in the subdivision go way back. So I know we've done all this before. Yeah. 
Oh, if he shows the turnaround, submits the plan to me, I have the fire chief sign off on it. Would that be enough? Well, you, so you have to come back. Probably write a new letter. Write it, but does it, but do they have to come back to do that or? No, I think we could condition it on. And then let, and let you know the next meeting. Yeah. What what prevents you from constructing a driveway where you said really one couldn't be done, but coming, uh, let's say. Up in here. Well, I'm on the cul de sac that you have. That's space six feet away, but yeah, yeah, I mean, couldn't you come across the side of that and then curl up? There isn't, there isn't, steepness isn't a problem up here. It's like you say, the first hundred feet, but can you come across and then? It's, it's steep with that whole edge. When you, when you go around this curve, yeah. when you look in here, this point here is only a couple of feet above the road. Yeah. It's like eye height. This is 15, 20 feet up here. Yeah, right. It would be right. tough. There's and a no typically, the fire chief and the DPW person always likes me to come off at a 90. Yep. So if I come off at a 90 and curve it, I'm so deep into that slope. Yeah. I thought it might help to push it a little closer this way toward his house. The guy I had drafted up goes, you know, it's going to make a whole lot of difference. Let's keep it a little further from his house. Yeah, it's, it's not going to add you five feet to the length of the driveway. Because, um, Which isn't going to amount to much. It With 100 feet, this doesn't amount to a whole lot. Right. <clears throat> um, so, and the other thing, you, I'd like to see a note on here about if the driveway location is changed, then they, okay. they need to come back. How about if it's changed more than five feet? It's changed and it's significant? If it's, if, if <laughs> I, I don't know that I will use significant. I, I, <laughs> Did you I think the note ought to say it's not to exceed 15%. Right. And any horizontal relocation by 10 feet needs to go back to the planning board. Okay. Absolutely fine. Is that all right? I'm that perfectly that, that fine. That way they don't have to have an engineer laid out to build it. All right. It just, we've had, and you've done septic systems too, I know. I mean, yeah. we've done septic systems where we'll do two cesspits. They go to build a septic system and they'll oh, yeah. a little pile of well, ledge, just I've like that in between that. the two. I've had people screaming at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so once you go out and dig there, you don't really know. Yeah. And then once you get into lawn, the driveway may move just to avoid the ledge. Right. But until you poke around, we're only guessing. Um, the other thing, I mean, you've got this fit. Let's take a that 15% grade runs from essentially from 11 feet in, maybe 12 feet in, mm -hmm. to 110, so far 100, 100 feet long. Yep. You want to say no more than 100 feet? Yeah. Long? Yep, no problem. There shouldn't be any reason why it would need to run any longer anyway, but just need to be up in the air. Yeah. I'm good with all that. Anything else? Um, no. I don't. How is the power getting? To this lot, I don't care. You don't care. Well, that, I think that whole road's that on a, underground, yeah. isn't it? It's all underground. So, point. If you're gonna put a pole. It's gonna not be across the driveway. Well, if they're gonna be up here on top of this hump across, they go around across there and have 20 feet of clearance. Okay. Under. All right. Utilities are all underground. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Utility won't do that anyway. Okay. This one. Yeah. <laughs> The, the utility itself has minimum clearances and it's higher than that. Yeah. <laughs> good. So we got we have five, five conditions. Five conditions. Mm -hmm. Fixed note. Five. Five. Right. Three percent. Max 100 feet, max 10 feet horizontal shift. 
What was the other one? Fire department turnaround. Oh, turnaround. Show um, snow removal. And then typo on note five. Spot to put snow halfway up. Okay, I'll close this portion of the meeting. Any public like to speak on this? Hearing none, I'll close the public portion of the meeting. Anything else to talk about? Pertaining to this? Mm -hmm. um, just so we're clear that he's going to get approval from the fire department before. Yeah, we're going to make that in a condition. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to make a motion? Mm -hmm. Sure. So I'm supposed to read all these things? You gotta read your writing? A motion to approve with conditions. A uh, motion to approve with conditions as we've outlined for conditional use permit for Brookshire LLC for Eleanor Way, tax map 412, lot 197-19. Second. Second of my chart. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Most of best. Have a good evening. Go we'll see the fire chief. I'll do that. Okay. Take that letter back and my plan back. My plan. What else do I have yours? Anything? Nope. You just had this one. Good. Okay. I just got my mock-up plan and my letter from the fire chief. Thank you, sir. Chuck, thank you so much for coming in. <coughs> oh. Very least I could do. <laughs> Have a good evening, folks. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Stay safe. How are those knees? Pardon? How are your How knees? Your knees. Your Come knees on. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Well, you lost some weight. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> you gained some weight. Well, it looks like you lost weight. I think we've all gained weight. Yeah. <laughs> did you sign that plan for me? I already did. did. I let it dry. Oh. <laughs> let it dry. There. I'm good. Courtney, the chairman's back. Chuck is. <coughs> Chuck is leaving. Second item on the agenda is a lot is a site plan for Sunel on the seventy four South Star Highway at four twelve lot one seventy five zone commercial septic system. Um, I don't know if the A stands for here. It's just kind of disposal nice. area. Good job. <laughs> Oh, nice. We, we, we saw in the cover letter. No, this is fine. This covers our, we're looking for a picture of it. It gives you kind of a better yeah. plan than a description. Um, my name is Floyd Graham. Hold on a second. I'm out. Oh, I'm sorry. The board goes first. That's right. we got, we got to accept the application complete. That, oh, that that's up to you. Uh, first of all, though, you did say in your cover letter you're looking for an expedited review. So Bruce and I took the liberty of meeting down there at 3, 3.30, I think, today. Did a little walking around. So just, we'll get to what particulars okay. happened later, but we did meet and look at it. Okay. Um, as far as the checklist goes, the only thing I noticed was the, it, I, I don't have the map, but I'm 99% sure it's in the Aquifer Protection District. And it doesn't say that on the plan. It almost has to be because Cold Spring across the brook is in the aquifer protection, safe, safely stores in the aquifer protection. Cold Spring up the roads in aquifer protection. You got to be. Yeah. Okay. What, what protection? Aquifer. aquifer yeah. No. No. Did 
Which is which all it is. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I just wondered if um, Peter picked that up. Yet. I didn't see it. In no. his, he um, he reviewed the um, town's requirements and you know, obviously the zoning for it and stuff. But he may have. I, I read the notes. Well, Bruce and I both read them at the site fairly carefully, and I didn't see anything about the offer protection. All right. You know, I mean, it, certainly part of the property has to be on it. It just has to be. So you need a note staying there? Yeah. Next question. Back to four. For acceptance, that's the only thing I saw. I'm, I'm not, and I don't have a problem with accepting the application complete and doing that later. Sure. Um, I make a motion to accept the application as complete. Second. Three minutes. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Motion passed three to nothing. Now it's your turn. Floyd Graham from Sandal Napper. I'm the facilities director for them. Um, we purchased this property. We've been renting this property for many years from um, the previous owner, and just recently we purchased the property. Um, and with that, we're looking to expand the, put an addition on for additional part storage. Um, so I had hired a melon um, surveying to go out and survey the property and uh, I didn't come as prepared as the first gentleman with this on a board that I can easily show it but um, I believe everybody has it in front of them the first page shows the existing conditions and uh, we had we did have some uh, storage containers in there those have been temporarily moved to the front of the building yep and once this addition is done those will be eliminated um, those were just set in there temporary just before winter to uh, handle some overflow of, of parts. Um, in this plan, we have identified any of the wet areas and not pervious and non-pervious areas. And the second page shows wh what it is that we would like to add. It's a 2,000 square foot, uh, 40 by 50. We, in order to meet the 50 foot setback, we're setting this building back from the previous one the line kind of goes on an angle so the edge of the existing property um, building it looked to be that front corner actually looked to already be at like 47 uh, 9 so we set this building back and that's the only corner on this existing building that is to, is because of the way the property line cuts off that very corner of the existing building was so we're setting this building back um, like six feet, I believe, we're going back roughly in order to make sure we're past our 50 foot mark in any way. Um, in doing that, once we slid that back to make this fifth to create to make sure we were meeting that 50 foot sit back, it's stuck. If you look in the back left hand corner of the new addition, it's putting us into or outside of what is already considered non pervious area. So we're picking up additional 17 square feet of non-pervious so the question that peter and i had was it's pretty easy for us to eliminate some non-pervious area somewhere else and create pervious space a lot easier than trying to move the property line the, or look for requirements on that um, i had a couple of thoughts and suggestions on that on what i could do uh, the previous owner has this gravel road going down into the back where he used to store um, old tractor trailer box trucks and stuff down there and and other items those items have all been removed I don't really have any need to have a road going down in there I could turn that entire road which would then pick up far more than 17 it would drastically and turn that non pervious area back into pervious um, well 
that was a question we arrived at on site. On, um, we, we were thinking to make it really simple. Yeah. If you look at the site plan, the two parking spaces that are to the left side. Sure, left side. There yeah. there's right there. Or if you just squared off the squared off the pavement, or that's not pavement. Squared off the gravel. Yep. And loaned it. You're going to get 17 square feet. Exactly. So, easy. It's, so know, we're talking the size of this table. Exactly. It's not a big deal. Yep. Um, been looking at Kelly's markup. She noticed the book and page reference is wrong. It should be page. 2175 it appears. So that's the only data I yeah. found. It's the same book, it's just the wrong it's page. De Dennis Lassard to the So what page. did you say? Book and page, it should be um book book 9287 is correct. Nine page two, two one seven five. And the page is two one seven five. Two one seven five. And you, yes. and you have it different on the plan. Okay. Yeah, twenty nine ten is page twenty nine ten. Okay. Unless I don't have that deed. No, um, I will. I will. But this one is Dennis Lassad. It Correct. describes this property. So. Right, and we just purchased this, but yeah, it should still that right deed should be just following along. So. And what's the date on that deed? Okay. April eleventh. This year. Yeah. yeah. So that would be. It could be just the. Yeah, that would be so. Um, and that is showing. Where are you seeing that on the plan? Top front page. No one. No, no, no one. one. On both on pages. Both pages yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right Look at the that. Top of so page. let's correct that to 2175. Or, d or double check. Make sure. Right. Um, double check it. Whatever, whatever that page is, yep. make sure it's not part of the And plan. then once we do that, um, you guys want a updated copy of this with the correct page and stuff on it? Yeah, but yes. you gotta add something. You gotta add the note about the aquifer protection zone. Also. And add, and I have that note here that yeah. aquifer. Yep. Make that note. note nine or something. On page one. Yep, and no. Kelly circled the approximate location of the EDA. Why did you do that? Is that existing? Is that an old system? I assume it's a very old system, but I don't know that. Okay. So the new my, square my, footage, my does it have is, to be my, revised my, or anything? My question is it's only two feet from the property line, and would it have to be bigger is a good question. That's what I'm wondering. If it had to be bigger because of the square footage, I wasn't sure if the location. Well, so you're talking about the septic. I yes. missed it quite. All right. Yes. So off the, to, off to the right of the building, it says approximate correct. location. Correct. Yep. And a, 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 they're not supposed to be close than 10 feet to the property line. And it shows at about three. You're right. It's existing, though. So right. it's existing, but if so. you had to enlarge it because of the new square footage or new number this of employees, of a part of that. just keep right. that in mind. Well, so two, um, we're actually, and, and that doesn't mean that in the future, uh, I understand how the theory is, it doesn't have to just meet, but we've actually, so with the new square footage, we're not adding any additional um, bathrooms or anything. The There's currently two bathrooms in that facility, and we're not adding any additional Unfor bathrooms. Unfortunately, that doesn't matter. Okay, it's just square footage. Square footage. Square okay. footage and number of employees. And then the number of employees, we've actually decreased with this change um, in employees as well. Um, <coughs> I don't want to stand here today and say that we won't add employees back because I'm not sure that that decrease is really working out well for <laughs> customer service. Right, right. So, they, got, um, they got room to put behind the building too. Right. If you look on page two where the wall radius comes in. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the other yeah. point is, is A the... Yeah, so, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking if they had to revise If we had to redo it, we'd, yeah, yeah something they, out they, back they here. They got room to put a new one right behind this existing okay. wing here. Yep. All in back and here. out of wetlands? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah you're way away, away from the wetland area. Oh, it, was pretty, it was pretty flat right there, Both too. Well, where it for quite a ways. Right. I, I would just, personally, if you got the old, old septic approval, it's going to say how many gallons per day it can handle. Yep. And if Peter Mellon says, here's these approximate square footage, blah, 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 blah. Here's how many gallons per day we need now if it's less than what it's yep. approved for you're fine if it's not you're gonna need new subject to that yep okay that, that um, gets noted in the building permit too though pardon me that gets noted on the building permit yeah too. Right. um 
We can just make that a condition. It doesn't have to be done. No, because if right. they, yeah, they can show us the gallonage for both existing right. and proposed, right. or the system and proposed. And proposed existing building. and what would the be needed based proposed, on right. the square footage and stuff. Yep. Chances are it's a 300 gallon a day system. That's the smallest in what you build. And I, you may still be under 300 gallons a day. What, what you doing there? So. All right. Um. Well, if this is the li if this is the system, it just came off an old permit from the drawing. You're gonna need so you're gonna need a new system. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred twenty-five gallons. Oh, Two twenty-five. How'd I get approved for that? Well, it's one seventy-five well, plus two twenty-five. I didn't read it that close. Yeah, Maybe the must have put it in. The other part that I'm not one hundred percent sure on here. Um, I, I tried to talk. You guys are probably all familiar with Mister in town, or the the, prop, the previous property owner, um, Dennis Lassar or whatever, and Mister. Um, so I, I just wanted to talk to him a little bit more. We're going by what we what we can identify, but again, when I was looking at it and seeing where the property lines were and stuff, I want to make sure that. When we say this is where it is, that it's not a little right. further back or this or that, and that um, yeah, I'm trying just, to recreate just uh, based on the records that we can find this information. Well, the septic records should be able to find those, maybe not easily, but with the state DES. Right. Do you have any other should thing else on that little no, copy? No, I didn't have. I don't have the septic in here. I can check our files. <coughs> I'd like to see uh, you have the impervious, impervious, impermeable areas. Yep. Um, the one question Bruce and I had, we were standing there, it says gravel excluding gravel road. Does that include the gravel, what he's calling gravel, where the temporary storage, the thing you're shown on here? You probably don't know that. Um, no, this. actually, he did mention the way he did it is for calculating this. He included the road as what was originally there, but is eliminating that as part of this plan, I believe, which he should have shown that hashtagged off. Or he may have mentioned, I'm trying to, it was a I couple mean, weeks I mean, ago. The area where the, the new building is going, the new addition. That's all oh, gravel. That's already currently all gravel right. and non pervious so, now. But he counted that in, in this. Correct. Okay. So that, that hashtagged off area in the right. corner is the only area we're stepping outside of. It looks like it appears so on this page one, he went right out to the far side of the concrete pad. Yeah, that's all gravel. It says edge Correct, gravel. right, because that concrete pad, yeah. the gravel continues yeah. out like, and then comes back it's around. The the right, so if you look at the site plan, the second page, where it says additional 17 square foot impermeable area, yep. right where those words are, that could very easily be loamed and seeded. And oh, absolutely, and it more than that's more than and 17. It, and as you see, we we've drilled you, the you new drilled well the there. We've eliminated well, that dug well, right, and area, that'll all be. That whole um, area behind it gets loamed and seeded. It's getting all loamed, loamed and seeded. Yes. So if you added a note saying something about that area to be loamed and seeded, yep, that more than takes care of you. Right. <laughs> right. And then you can make a little table saying. Existing impervious, proposed impervious, right? Fifteen point seven percent, and we just picked up more, whatever. and we picked up but more. Make sure you set that percentage there, because that'll make that. All right. right. If it's less, you're good to go. If it's more, you need a conditional use permit. Correct. No, we're going to go the other. I knew you didn't want to do that. We plow that. And it's and it's very easy on this. Yeah, area. it's easy. I mean, in some applications that I've done in some locations, it was next to impossible. This lot is easy for me to pick up. Um, yeah, seventeen square feet, very easy. So we kind of went out there, just Craig and I, because I know I, I missed we, my. We didn't have time to notice it as a public hearing, and yep. with three members, it would have been a public hearing, so we couldn't have a third member. <laughs> <present with us. laughs> so, that's, that's why the two of us snuck out. 
That's on record, though. Nothing, nothing personal. It's <laughs> all right. Call me next time. Okay, I won't call Bruce. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I missed a call from my store manager. I was in another meeting earlier. Um, I'll tell um, you, this COVID thing has really <laughs> messed everything up. <laughs> and um, yes. and so um, I was in that meeting, and then I got a second call from him, and I'm like, all right, something's going on. Yeah, so I stepped out of that meeting, and he told me that you guys, some people had shown up and uh, was asking some questions, this and that, and I said, all right, well, I'll talk with them tonight and see what they have for answers or questions, <laughs> see if I have any answers. And you got two lights on a pole in each far corner of the parking areas. So yeah. So there's no lights on the building, no proposals so, on the building. Right, and, and I can show that on my on the building plans or whatever. I, I personally would like to eliminate these. I'm trying to eliminate those in a lot of locations. They're, they're just not energy efficient or anything. And on my building, I can do LED light packs that won't, you know, obviously i got to be aware of, of traffic and this and that. But I think I can better light this parking lot. Because if you really look at it right now, with this pole and this pole, it's nice over here. It's nice over here. But where the customers are going in and out, <laughs> it isn't. So I can do a better job at lighting my parking lot up, especially on this parking lot not being very deep. Front, you know, it's 50 feet basically. Um, I can do that without having any impact on traffic. You get that big roof overhang, right over the door. Right. So and it's then we have better if you do some lights right on the correct like that, so we know they're shining straight down. Straight down, and then have a couple of wall packs that straight that shoot down. They come out, but they only come out. You can buy different ones, but I yeah, they yeah, shoot out. You know, like a, just to light up, um, and. And in this, in the plan that you can see there, um, what part of doing this, we're going to also, at the same time, um, we're eliminating the, this two overhead, there's three overhead doors currently. Mm -hmm. Two of them just have, if you look through them, they're just glass doors, there's parts behind them. Yep. We're going to close those in. We're replacing the existing windows that are there in that building, so because they're all just wood rotting and stuff. So we're going to take the small windows out and stuff. The storefront windows and doors are going to be changed out underneath, and then we're vinyl siding the entire building all the way around. And we're and the roof there is it's not leaking or anything, but there's no sense of putting a roof on the new addition and not. So we're going to roof the whole thing. So, so things going to get total facelift then. It, it is. It's yeah. totally all the way through, and um, it looked like the Hillsborough store. Yes, and honestly, uh, so. I hope you like that. Right. That was that was well, my design, <laughs> and uh, and we do a lot of business with you. So, do you? Yeah, my son Peter does. Yeah, would you Stockhouse Enterprises? Yep, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, the one thing that I I didn't show on here, and I'm kind of debating. You know how Hillsboro has the faux rock on the bottom okay. half. I'd like to do that here, but that right existing right hand side of the building is already brick. Yeah. So. I'm in my last night. My head woke up thinking, "Well, what if I paint the brick grayish, and then do the faux stone the rest of the way down? Can I make because it's such a small amount over there? Because um, I really do like how that breaks up, mm. especially with a 12 foot wall. It breaks it up, and um, so I'm not sure if that matters to to the building permit process or whatever. If I if I switch from just straight vinyl to a faux brick on the body, it's still vinyl. It's, it's just more aesthetic. That's, That's all it is. Way. It's it uh, right. I think our biggest problem, really, now that you mentioned it, and I don't know how to address it quickly, is the lighting. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think you, if you, if you want to get this done, like some kind of approval tonight. Yep. The lighting is going to be an issue, so I think maybe what you ought to do is say nothing about the, the lighting right now. We're Absolutely. Keep those. Yep. And then come back at some point. And when you and figure the lighting out, yep, and do a amended plan, not a problem. Right. Be but there's also a lot of ambient light in that area. Yes, there is. Yeah, I, I, from, I would like, I would like to see you change the lighting. To be honest with you, Stark House across the street, but, but if he's got, the street. if he's leaving, what's there? Right. there. We, we can't make him change it. Right. But I would like to see it too. If you want I can to assure that. you that what we want to do, and I've done this in Brazilian neighborhoods, is we want to make improvements, whether it's um efficiencies or aesthetics um we've 
been renting this building for many years. We just purchased it. We plan to be there for many years to come. And uh, we we want to be we don't want the neighborhood to be upset with us because we're creating too much uh, night light and losing the skyline. Um, so the, you know we can certainly visit that and and come up with something. Yeah, that, I think I'll have to come back um, for an amended plan for that to, yep. to do move you, this forward tonight. Do you want to see the lighting plan before a CO? No, he's gonna have to come back for an amended plan because he's not it's not on this plan. We don't, we don't have any we, we don't have there's no chance he's going to have it on here tonight no no but he if you give him a approval with condition tonight he's going right for his building plan, so he's going to stop building yeah we know sure. so we don't do any the building have permit has nothing to do with the lights okay i was just wanting a time frame for him to come back with an amended lighting plan you can come back with that anytime Anytime. Now we gotta, gotta look at the notify butters that kind of crap again is the butters have been notified for tonight yes it is going to cost them so whatever. Really so if we don't change the lighting at all, we don't have to do anything. Right. right. So what, let's what? just go down this road right now, this way. Only, I'm on a really tight time frame with... with we kind of gathered that. Today. I have the July 25th. I mean, I can... I mean, a, a little side note is be, we did a... Um, I'm not sure how many people are familiar with a 1031 tax trade. Mm -hmm. yeah. And with that, you're given six months to spend that money or you pay pretty good hefty penalties. Yep. I, I so I lost three months of that time due to the COVID thing. So this is why, I mean, Kelly has been You don't want wonderful. to lose another month here in permitting. Exactly. I, I, I just I can't, unfortunately. I, honestly, I have my uh, framing crews, siding crews, everybody ready to start tomorrow. <laughs> and based on. I think you just got to do an amended plan for the lighting. And uh, um, yeah. that way you can get them going. Well, hang, hang on a minute. Um, what do you want to do for lighting? Let's, let's back up. Um, Maybe we can approve something tonight. Is it going to put Make you put an amendment on this plan saying the lights are going to be here, what they're going to be, yeah, but do, and yep. be done with it. Okay. Save the butter for notification, another 150, 200 bucks, whatever it's going to be. And right. I was going to ask to continue to continue. To well, you know, we continue because he wants to build. No, just continue right. to show lighting so that you so, don't have to notify the public again. It was already mentioned, and I think it's a it's not a bad idea to on the overhang for the. For the front doors, mm -hmm. I can do lighting there that'll shine down. Right. And again, all our parking spots are against the building. Nothing is back away. Um, and then if I go up under each of these eaves, one on each corner of the building, and do a clamshell, I wish I had brought diagrams of what I've used in um, previous uh, applications. Your downcast lighting? Is it's a downcast, you know, LED. Um, downcast lighting so it and it'll again I can light I can wash the whole front of that building I'll call it so you're talking about putting two underneath the over underneath the um overhang? maybe even three do one in the center not I'm talking almost recessed light shining straight yeah, down. exactly yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. so one in the center right over the center window right door right over the doors and then probably one over each window or however the balance works out for left to right and proper so three lights and yeah third, third. and then um this other i can do another one underneath this other door um that on the new addition see how we have a little roof mm -hmm. sticking yeah, out there. Oh, one yep. there i think you need there for building code anyway don't correct you know? so they yeah. i mean it, it's automatic there'd be one under there anyway we'll do the same thing put that in the roof yep that little roof yep. yep and if this helps uh i can create another little roof over this door on the far right and I can put a light under that. Then I don't even have to put it up on the building. Right. And the only area at that point is way down by the dumpster area. And if maybe put a clamshell. Well, we, we were wondering, we were standing out there, we were wondering if you were going to put a door on that side of the addition. Because it only makes sense to be able to get to the dumpster. To get to the dumpster, it, it would. And if, you um, could, if you put a door on that side, that would be your light on that side, too. And I, I, could add a, I could add a door on that end of the building with a little roof. And a light now. Now they can come out and right to the dumpster. The guy, who, the guy we met out there, mentioned it. he hoped there'd be a door over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. One of your employees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of your employees had a brilliant idea there. By the way, was it Caleb who you were talking to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the new store manager. Yeah. He, he's good. He's actually a very good. Um, he's young. Uh, just about a year and a half ago, he started out as our catalog guy, and instantly they realized this guy's got a little more talent. They moved him over to our Manchester store in charge of um, dispatch area. 
and then um, we had Gary out in Hillsborough retire and we moved the manager from here um, drawing a blank on his name uh oh. He's gonna like that, You're but watching I, TV. Yeah, moved him from here over to the Hillsborough store and brought Caleb over here. It's a nice smaller store to start out with as a manager. It's a yep. good store. And he's done phenomenal for staff and and um, handling this whole change and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um yeah, we're fortunate to have him. We want him to put a light over the garage door. And that, you know, we got overhangs. This whole building has two foot overhangs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we could easily go up in the soffits of those. Illuminate that. That's up to him. I mean, especially for the it's, the, the it's the passage doors that you worry about for cold lights for people walking and not tripping. Well, yeah. and and but our night delivery little, truck yeah. comes in, so it's not a bad thing to have one up under there. So I, so we, I just want I'm going to draw on here what I'm thinking. I'm going to put a new roof on this area with a light there. We're going to do a light up underneath the uh, overhead door. And then we're going to have three over the main center area, one underneath this door, and then when we put a roof over here, one there. So I have one on the, what end is that under the building? What the north end. The north end, north end, north end okay. <laughs> so north end, and then on the front, we'll have one under the, the new entrance door and the addition, three on the front, overhead door, and far right over that door. Seven, seven lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights. And eliminate the two present ones? Parking lot lights? Yes, and yep. eliminate those. Yep. And that and then what we would do at that point is if we felt like we weren't having it wasn't safe, the driveway, then we could come back to you guys with with a um an, an upgrade to saying that we've got some issues. It's not safe, but I, I can't imagine with these lights across there that it's not going to be adequate. And this um, this appears to be a new sign on the front. Um, yeah, that's in the permitting was all done for that. Oh, okay. Um, our sign company, um, Spectrum Marketing, uh, put that up. It's already up, right? Yeah, it's all up. Okay. So, okay. yep. And the front of that is already blue, um, and that's up there. The so. The only thing we're changing is the three different sidings. Right now we have aluminum, texture 111, and wood clapboards. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just go complete with it. Um, and a new roof, new at, you know, architectural, 50-year uh, architectural. It'll look nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I'm replacing the overhead door with a new insulated overhead door. So, I mean, it, 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 it it's going to look like a brand-new building. Oh, yeah. And um, so this... But all the asphalt you the whole thing? Yeah, or so just? what we're going to do is that asphalt is, is heaved and hoved over the years. And, and right in front of that overhead door, it's heaved some. So the water runs off the roof, mm -hmm. runs away the building to that point, and then turns in over here and goes right back in through the overhead door. So he ends up with a couple inches of water in that overhead door. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're gonna, once this construction is done, we're going to pull the, all that asphalt off regrade it to what it was what ends up happening is you kind of have a high point right here in the middle and it all slopes to the north and the south i guess of the building and um slopes and and will run off and out around the back of the building high point in the middle oh, okay so what you mean you know just because this is 160 feet or whatever it is high point, like we get curb cut is off the state highway correct right, right. Yeah. yeah and then just yeah. and then pitch it from there this way and from here this way um, so it'll be slightly pitched away from the building and 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 wash out around that way um, and uh, clean up clean up those berms and stuff even you know that's just clean them up loam them uh, rock them whatever in there just to make it look the original nice building is almost too low in the ground it is it should the whole thing should have been raised there's no doubt that was that's a bigger ticket item <laughs> No. We can. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and when you're originally building this yeah, building from the scratch, it would have been so much easier for them to raise that building up a little bit. Yep. Um, it's, it's much diff more difficult, obviously, now. Elevation <laughs> so. just reminded me because that was one of the... Since you're in New York for I just thought of something. Um, 
would you be willing to eliminate salt usage in the winter? So we is that because of the aqua area? Yeah. If we the funny thing is is I just got a um, we're gonna we're visiting. I don't know if you've seen the um, what do they call it? I can't remember the name of it. Um, but it's all in regards to um, plowing and salt use and yeah. all of that. Um, From DOT? DES, actually. Voluntary salt applicator certification and liability protection. So we require all of that, our... That, that's from DES, right? Yeah. 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 So all of our winter maintenance contractors, we're going to try our best. I've got 180 locations between Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. But if I can start with New Hampshire, because that's this, um, and try to have them all certified in this so that we're either we're using the minimal amount of salt as possible or none at all um, to meet these standards, um, especially given the aqua area. You know, you would want to do that even more. Um, sand salt mix. I mean, there, and there's other products out there now right. oh, yeah. there that um, to be used, and that's what we're exploring. Um, this year, we did our Plymouth, New Hampshire store on Tinney Mountain Highway, and I, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the product. Um, the contractor up there, um, that's the first location that we used it on, and we didn't have any issues this year with, with um, icing. Uh, liquid or crystals? Or? It's, um, no, it, it's, um, it's a powder. It's almost like a powder. It's not even a crystal. Huh. And, and um, I wish I could remember the name of it. Um, but I can't. But it, it's a, it's not a salt. It's a it's a rosin type thing. But it's not a liquid rosin that you see when you go to Vermont and they do their highways. So, um, mm. I, I I don't. It's the only location out of all of our locations that they did that. And part of that was there's a bank plaza, and there's a Ford dealership and us that share a main entrance to go in, and then we have all have our own parking lots. So we got together and utilized this one guy and did it and all of that. And we didn't have any issues this year in our cleanup. The big thing is is spring cleanup. You're not getting rid of it. You, you know, you don't have sand. all that sand and stuff. And it, and it didn't track in like the salt and stuff as well. So, um, so as a company, that is something that we've already been um, working on and implementing. I got a list of seven things. Hard to believe. Six. One's a book and page. Yeah. Two is add note seven about being in the aqua protection district. Yeah. Three, I wanted a table saying exists. Wait, note, you want that to be note number nine and note number seven? I don't care. There's already seven oh, there's, 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 oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Before I start listening, but there's a nine on this page. Yeah, there's a nine on here, so this would actually be note number ten. Okay. You say your estimated construction timetable to start in June, finish July 25th. You, you can very easily change it to September 25th, and we wouldn't care. Okay. <laughs> just, does, well, I know I know what you're saying. You, you need right. to get done by then, but just in but, case you don't. Right. You want to come back to us to keep working. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Right. No. If this if this holds me to that time frame, then I, I don't want to do that. I would but uh yeah. You put you put October if you want. Yeah, yeah. Put, let's let's make it October. July twenty twenty one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now I get eight. <laughs> so we're gonna change number eight to yep, all right. So number two is gonna add okay, it. Okay, back up. Yep. Book and page. Yep. Number two is add a note, add a note. I'm not going to say it really. Add yeah. a note about the Aqua Protection District. It'd be nice to see a table on the site plan saying existing impervious area, proposed impervious area in square foot, square footage, square foot. And a yep. percentage. That's right here. Yeah. And the percentage of lot coverage that would be because yep. the regulations are actually in percent of lot coverage. So I have show calculations. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, proof of the septic loading being adequate or a new septic design. Uh, yep, I have that. Five loam and seed the area behind behind the addition near the well. That gets your 17 square feet we're talking about easily. Six, seven lights to be added, seven downcast lights to be added as shown. 
I was going to make this a note. Two existing lights to be removed. Is that all under six? six? Two existing pole lights. Pole, pole existing lights. two existing pole lights. Pole lights. Okay. Street lights. And that's all under one. Seven new and remove. That's on a separate yep. note. Yep. Um, and my seventh thing is salt use shall be kept to a minimum for de-icing. Yep. Eight construction sequence to be revised. Construction date. Construction timetable to re to be revised to whatever you want to do it. Like I said, I don't care if you make it July twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Right. So, um, book and page, add the note for the aquifer, uh, separate design. I, I would just make a little table saying impervious coverage, existing, yep. proposed, blank square feet, blank square feet. Yep. As long as the proposed is less, we're all set. And if he's not, um, he, according to this impermeable area, he didn't count, says excluding gravel road. Yep. Could you maybe, like... Have them show the part you excluded by some kind of hashtag ha cross hatching or something. Yep. Dots. Something. Dots, whatever, yeah. Or show the area you're counting in purpose, per whichever. Show yeah, either one. Um, yeah, because once we do that calculation, we're going to show that we've, we've reduced. Right. 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 This, we've taken this away. And you know, we're this permeable or non permeable adding 17 square feet and we're eliminating 200 over here, whatever correct? Is. Right, yep, yep. So, oh, before I forget, anybody from the audience like to say anything? Okay, I'll close the public hearing. Um, <laughs> close the public comment. Um, the one thing we messed up, I messed up, he has a waiver request. Existing post contours. Obviously, we've ignored existing post contours the whole time. We've I think it's item number 23 on the checklist. Yeah, that's what he says in his letter here. Yeah. Make a motion we approve a waiver for item 23 on the checklist for contours. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so, sorry about that. We got that out of the way. Any other comments from anybody? For everybody? Do I have anything on my mock up? Well, I assume green means it's okay. Yeah. I don't know what orange means. Noted. I'm just noting it. Okay. It would be red pen if anything. So your red pen marks are EDA? Yeah, and book and page. Book and page, okay. and lot equals two and a half, two point eight acres. But it says that there. Is that what the tax tax? Sometimes it's different on the tax tax. Oh, is that what it is? It, the, their survey map goes different. I mean, that, it goes oh, by the map, geez. not by the tax tax. When, when, when eight, do you get all eight, about eight, that? Nine conditions, sir. That's right. Eight. 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 Eight recently and it's comes out with that so and of course they always to, add plus and minus so it's pretty hard to get the nearest tenth of an acre when you're doing a brook as a center as a property line exactly because that thing is you know where today is the center exactly where it was before <laughs> what did the brook you know swell today and <laughs> slide two inches one way or the other yeah for 400 yep. feet across the back property or whatever it is yeah ready for motion Sure. I make a motion we approve the expedited site plan for map 412 lot 175 for the following conditions. One, uh, book and page in note one be 
reviewed and revised. Two, add a note stating the site is in the Aquifer Protection District, whether well, they've checked whether and whether it is or not. Three, add a table showing the impervious pre-development and post-development with the percentages of each. Four, um, verify that the existing septic system is approved for and large enough to incorporate the addition for the number of employees and square footage. And if not, to get a new septic system approval and install it as part of the building process. Five, loam and seed. From the back of the addition to the, what's delineated is the edge of the gravel, which is essentially beside the concrete pad and around the new well. Um, six, remove the two high sodium lights, whatever they are, in the poles out front, and replace them with seven downcast LED lights at the door entries and window locations as shown as shown on the building <laughs> um, seven salt use shall be kept to a minimum for de-icing the driveway in winter time eight modify the construction table to have the construction completed by 725 2021 Do we have a second? Second. One slight comment. Technically, this is not an exploited application. No okay. video. Discussion? All in favor? No. It can't be an exploited. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. No, it's not expedited because expedited by definition, he has to come in for conception. We have to do a, a site walk oh. and all that kind of stuff. And he didn't come in for conception. We didn't do it. We expedited it anyway. Public site walk. But he, did, he, no, he got approved in one meeting. He didn't get expedited. <laughs> now the work begins. <laughs> well, you got a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of, well, it, not really, a month. That's right. Lots of time. Must need a septic and you're right, it. and then that could be something. The estimation will be there, they'll have to uh, design and, and uh, see what we can get through the state, how quick we can get through them. And State's quick, yeah. And uh, I go on approved in seven and a half minutes the other day. Wow, they're quick. That's good. We might have beat our record. We've, <laughs> I, I know we've had them under 10 minutes before, but I don't, yeah. know, if got, I don't know if we beat seven and a half minutes. That, that's pretty good. No one wants to know where you got the color printer. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's supposed to know if you're going to drop when you're going to drop it off. That's yeah, what's when you're going to drop it off. <laughs> so, oh, because this is actually from my house. Oh. <laughs> Not too happy. I oh. wouldn't have said what's that. What's your address? I wouldn't, have, <laughs> I wouldn't have said that prior to. Well, wait a minute. Uh, this is only one part. <laughs> How wow. big is the, brand how do you, big is the color Which printer? brand do you prefer? No. Um, <laughs> is it a big, the, like a copy of printer? Yeah, it is. Um, it's uh, it's a uh, Canon, yeah. but it's it, I can do. This is the largest I can do. Uh, That's all I need. Right. On that. I don't need the big um, map one. You need that. You want that. Well, right. I have to hear that all the time from my <laughs> boss. Is it a need or a want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a big difference. I'll be building something, you know, we'll be doing something for one of the departments or whatever, and they're like, I'm like, so they, over here, they, they need to have this or this or this. Well, is it a need or a want? Do they really need it? Or right. I'm like, trust me, you've asked me that so many times, I'd be, I'm always confirmed on that prior to, uh, to, uh, you want any of these? I'll take it. So, just in case. I have any checks for you if, uh, for the building permit. Okay. Do you want to just give it to me and trust that me that yeah. I'll give you a receipt tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm not um, driving the golf okay. I should say that I probably will be in wear again tomorrow. But. Will this will this buy me a print? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, 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 hey. Spell that? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I got it correct. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank you. All right, you're going to be seating your permit, work on your permit when I get the construction plans. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Turner is, is working on those. I mean, he, he spit this out fast just to be able to give a, a visual thinking that. That's, that's, that's very good. I mean, I don't think we've seen one like that in a while here. For well, it's just yeah. better to be able to have yeah. that visual yeah. rather than, well, this is what I'm going to draw or you know, build. Yep. And very nice. And right. you need to see an end result of what we're shooting for. So. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Floyd. Per RSA 676 colon 18, or, yeah, colon 18, Roman numeral 4, somebody's recording a boundary plan, so if you want to look at it, there it is for your information. You're no butter, though. No, you're not. No. No, no not, not quite. Almost. Oh, well, we anymore yet. We took you off. Yeah. We still want neighbor. Here. See, he doesn't know when these two lots, these two lots aren't part of it. My driveway is right here. So you're not in the butter. <laughs> Just so that you know, this has been recorded that you signed for. Oh, good. Okay. So that's what this for you. Just wanted you to see it. Okay. But, what did you want to do with it? What's he going to do? He said, wait till the fall. Move this, fix this location from the spin. Oh. I was kind of hoping to have more of a fuller board. Okay. That's the bill. Yeah, I'm just hanging on to it. That's the bill, right? Yeah. You approved that. When do I have to have this in? Yeah. Make sure nobody doesn't pay without us knowing about it. I don't think we moved that. I thought we moved something down here. Yeah, move one of these. Because the brook location was bad. The payment will be sent the in July. Was over here. The brook was way over here, yeah. 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 An, an invoice will be sent oh. in July. Oh, he's just showing. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's how, that's how I found out the problem of serving the other property. <laughs> so I have to show it to the planning board per RSA for your, your information. Oh, that it's been done. Gotcha. Yeah. For prior to recording, I'm going to show it to the planning board. So I'm keeping the ruler, by the way. So we continued. Yeah, me too. So I'm keeping the ruler. Okay. I don't like them. <laughs> we continued the building permit fee schedule from last hearing, and it's still on the agenda, you know, because in case we didn't discuss it tonight, I put it in the agenda on a public hearing notice for the next meeting, just in case. And Neil's not here, so. Why don't we wait till next meeting? But I did, but I did, I did come up with some numbers that I could pass out, and I can email it to Neil, but you could see it tonight if you want yeah. to. Craig took a look at it, too. So we're waiting on the minutes from last meeting? And then we're going to do minutes, yeah. And then I also took down the um, the builder's construction fee. It changes every year, but right now, in, to build, a uh, cost of construction for a custom home building is $143.34 per square footage. Remember how we talked about people were coming in and writing down the value oh, yeah, and yeah. we were charging six dollars. Cutting them in half. Yeah. So if you went by hundred and forty three dollars per square foot and charged by dollar square foot that way, you always could go with them yearly, whatever they come up with each year. Otherwise we're going with the fifty cents or twenty five cents for unfinished or thirty cents or straight across the board, whatever options that we're thinking about. Not sure what Neil was asking for, but these <sighs> So just to give you a rundown, because Beth and I went over it again, and it, it will never be apples to apples, so I'm not sure what he's looking for. They tried to explain at the bottom what the inspections entailed. Well, you almost plucked at the same half from the new homes. I mean, you had 27 new homes last year, 36,000. 13 so far, which is almost half. Right. 18,000, which is about half of the 36. So, I mean, you're pretty much close to the same... And but, I know but when we're changing the fee schedule from what we have now. Well, that's the that's. Well, I thought it was more we had to define what was finished and unfinished. Exactly. That's the key I, area. I don't care how much you want. But this fee oh. this fee schedule for this thirteen new homes was that fifty cents including basement square footage and attic and everything else. No, no, that was the one that they challenged me for just finished area. So what did you charge for the basement? $50 for the application. I no, 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 for, as part of the new construction permit for the they, they decreased the size of it. It was at 50 cents, but they decreased the size of it. What's, what's 18,600 divided by 13? Um, but there's also another number that we did 
Um, with I left my phone in my truck. That's why I'm asking. 18 what? 18,600 18, divided by 13. 1430. So, so basically we're charging $1,430 a house. Yep. And what's 36.5 divided by 27? Thirteen fifty one. So see, so you're still you're in the same ballpark here, oh, yeah, yeah. and that's why we came up with the fifty cents square foot. But, but I'm being challenged on the definition of how okay. it's written. Back up. Okay. So how big's the house? I do a twenty eight by thirty six. With a twenty four by twenty four garage. Two stories, finished, one basement. I have samples if you want to play with samples. I got on speakerphone for Oh, yeah. So what do you got? 28 by 36? 28 by 36 is, is 1,008. Right, times three. Times three. Times two. Well, two you've got three floors. Now, yeah. right now, I'm charging for three floors. Okay, 3, times three. 30, 24. 30, 24. 24 by 24 garage, 576 square feet. 576, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And right now you're getting 50 cents for everything? Well, the garage is attached, yeah. If the garage is detached, then I would, I don't know, I'd have to square it off, I guess. But now they're getting into knee walls and attic space and unfinished basements. So that's 3,600 3, 3, square feet. That's $1,800 at 50 cents. Great. Right. That's a lot. That's a lot. What's 3,600 divided by 1,400? No, 257. That's not, the, that's not the number I wanted. I wanted 1,400 divided by 3,600. <laughs> One over that. <laughs> 1,400. 1,400 divided by 3,600. 0. 0.38. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. 40, 40 cents a square foot. 40 cents a square foot. 40 cents a square foot. So do you want to go with just a blanket 40 cents a square foot? Or do you that's, want what, that's what I'm suggesting. Growth floor area. I don't care whether you finish. I don't care whether you yeah. can stand I'm up in your attic. I don't care if you use the garage or if it's detached. Growth floor area. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, the first one was an individual. Gloucester. And then a couple of other individuals, and then... Because some of these guys have got a spec bill. They already give you a total amount of money what they want for your house, right? Hello, how are you? Hi, I got dropped. Yes, I just texted. Oh, we're back, though. Uh, if you didn't get any of the minutes for the building permit schedule, I'll give it to you, Courtney. Courtney? Hello. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't hear. I'm having a hard time hearing this evening. I'm birthday phone for some reason. I'll fill you in on the discussion of the building permit fee if you didn't hear it. It doesn't sound like you heard that either. Okay, that's all right. I'll come up with some notes. <laughs> well, no, I just watched the video. Oh, yeah, okay. I Yep, very good. Don't worry about that. Okay, plus we can we continue the discussion until next meeting too. So. Oh, okay. I've been trying not to it's be interrupted. July 9th, right? Is the next one. Okay. I gave you a packet for July 9th. Everybody got their little packet. This one here. You did. Yep. I got one. Okay. I got one now. Right, so this minutes? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reading minutes. Oh, minutes. Yes. Minutes of June 11. Under discussion for conceptual review, number five, Tom, Tom Green was mentioned for an alternative. That it was mentioned that there was already a farmer's market on the town green. Did you hear that, Courtney? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Number five, instead of saying town green was mentioned for an alternate proposed location, it, okay. sh it should say, I forgot what you said, no. There's already a t farmer's market on the town green. There's already a farmer's okay. market on the town green, yes. Who's, e, who's EOG? You want to add that right on to the end of what's there? Well, we can't well, say it wasn't that. mentioned as a proposed location. No, it's, not, it's, not, okay. it's not an alternative. It was, I was noted, why do we need another farmer's market if we have one on the town green already? So it was mentioned that there's already a farmer's yeah, market on the town green? Yes. Okay. That's what it should say. I don't know what EOG, EOG is. What is EOG? Yeah, who's, who's EOG? Is it who's, e, who's EOG? Number nine, Courtney. I, you know what? I didn't understand what you guys were saying last week. Could so. be DOT. Yes. Yes. Uh, we mentioned driveway to permit up. DOT. Maybe, yeah, probably number, DOT. Number seven. You said it several times through the thing, and I even looked on the video, and I still didn't understand. If you got an O in the middle, and it's DOT. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's DOT sounds like Yeah, okay. the Department of Transportation. So that actually you can eliminate number nine in that case. Pardon me? July, July 9th, I'll be there in person. Okay. Really? <laughs> Cool. <laughs> For everybody. Motion we approve June 11th minutes as amended. Second. Can I make one more change? Why do we have number of Roman numeral six saying July 9th, 7 p.m. next is the next meeting when we're sitting here tonight? Oh, 
Yeah, she, next meeting is That's because that's, that's the meeting she's going to be at. <laughs> <laughs> Should be June. Should be June twenty fifth is the next meeting. Yeah, it should be June twenty fifth. As amended. As amended. As amended. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Sustained. Are you, are you reviewing any legal opinion or anything tonight? You mean our discussion with Mr. Drescher? Wait I'd wait for I'd wait for Jack and yeah, Neil. Nobody else here. So you want to put that on the agenda for July? Yes, we definitely want to. We meeting both times in July, or just the one? I think both times. Oh, uh, do I have anything for the other one? We did talk we, about that, didn't you we? You have this for July 9th, right, Mario or yep. Mark? Yeah. What's his name? Right, because when we schedule that, we say, well, then maybe we don't have to meet the other one because he can, might be on vacation. Let me double check to make sure I don't have anything. You wouldn't know yet. You might, an application could still be delivered in time for that one. Yeah. And I might be working on something. I think we'll be meeting both. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> we just did, you but mentioned it last Solano time. So. called and said, what are the dates? So oh. maybe. So let me add that to the agenda. It would be nice if Jack and Neil and everybody could be here. We could talk about our Bill Drescher discussion. Yes. So I got a continuation that's, that's of gonna building. That's going to get a little complicated in a Legal good way opinion well I figures think. out just yeah. it's gonna be complicated in a good way legal opinion on private road and I'm gonna leave continue re revising subdivision regs leave that on okay got it yeah sure got it. Bruce made a motion to adjourn didn't he I did I thought so well, second. Bye, Courtney. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good night. Bye.